This is ABC's World News Now. Hello there to our fans online. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Nine. And with the top stories on this Monday, November 24th, we begin with the latest from Ferguson, Missouri. The grand jury in the shooting death of unarmed teen Michael Brown is expected to get back to work this morning after a two-day break. Police in the Ferguson area made a number of arrests over the weekend as protesters called for the indictment of Officer Darren Wilson. Demonstrators are demonstrations are planned in dozens of cities, regardless of the grand jury decision. President Obama is among those calling for calm. Now, fraternities at the University of Virginia are suspended for the rest of the semester as after allegations of sexual assaults on campus were not investigated. Rolling Stone broke this story. Hundreds of protests uh, protested against what they call the university's lax attitude towards sexual violence. Others say the university president overreacted by suspending all fraternities. A flood warning is in effect for several counties across western New York as warmer weather threatens to melt seven feet of snow on the ground. Temperatures will be in the 60s today in the Buffalo area, which could turn those walls of snow into walls of water. New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, is warning the snowbound to prepare for large-scale evacuations. And finally, some uh, fun moments at the Bengals-Texans game in Houston. Kiss Cam was in effect, prompting plenty of fans to lock lips in the stands. You've seen this all before, the young and the old getting involved in the act, but this is why we're bringing this to you, the most recognizable couple in the stands. They had their turn. That's former President George H.W. Bush and his wife, Barbara. There they go for the Kiss Cam. Then they watch the game and they watch the Texans lose. I love how she explained it to him. You got to kiss me is what it seems like she was <laughs> saying to him. So sweet. I love it. That's a good moment. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Ninen. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.